try and he does simple ones early, so try and like not use Replega early. And we'll rely on Replega once he starts getting more complicated. Probably about now. Why'd I use Replega so early there? Oh my word. Stop! Okay, don't spam Replega like that. You're gonna use all your Replega. I should have used Replega there, definitely. Because he shot a ton. I hate the stupid spin around one. Remove it from the game. Yeah, that one, that one just blows. It really does. Because again, there's no way that I can see to tell when he's going to do that one instead of a normal attack. And you have to like, on that one, you have to use Reflega late or it doesn't work. One of the recommended strategies for this one is really dumb. Oh, is there some super stupid exploit you can do that's like no normal human being would ever think of? But one guy who just plays the game endlessly is like, hey, I figured it out. I pressed the Reflega button, but it didn't go through. So far, so good. Other than that one bad one. You gotta, like, spam Replega when he does the spin around ones. I hate you. I really, truly do. Oh. Oh. No! I ran out of Replega! He stun locked! I ran out of Replega, and then he stun locked me! I was trying to guard there! Dude, this one sucks. This is like by far the absolute worst garbage trash mushroom of them all. Actual straight up garbage. I hate it. Actual straight bad game design. Get out of my face. <sighs> you know what? Screw, screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Oh, I love Zigbar. Zigbar. Zigbar's boss fights are well designed and fun. This is not well designed and fun. This is annoying and stupid. Immediately using a... <sighs> Zigbar has actual patterns you get to learn. This doesn't have any patterns. It's a bunch of RNG trash. I got hit, but still reflected it? Oh my word. Just like, dude, this is so not fun. I hate it when video games just put things that aren't fun in them. Because, you know, the purpose of a video game is to have fun. Screw off. One more. Alright, now start using replay go. Why have you not done any of the complex ones yet? Like, where are the weird ones at? There we go. I'm gonna run out of MP. He's doing so many normal ones for some reason. Where? Are, yep, there's a weird one as soon as I don't use Replega, of course. Screw you. Oh, I got over 80. Screw you. Screw you. Die. Get lost. Just absolute trash. Terrible. Worst mushroom by far. The not fun parts are there to make the fun parts more fun. That might be the stupidest thing I've ever read. I'm sorry to to just say that, but that's that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. We wanted the fun things to seem more fun, so we put in things that weren't fun. 
It's not true, though. It might be true for you. It's not true for me. Playing a fun game and then running into something that isn't fun just makes me think, like, man, why... Why did you not just only have it be fun? Because now I'm like... You know, whenever you think back, like, oh, that was a game I really enjoyed. I kind of want to play it again. But then you think of that one thing about the game that you're like, oh, but I hate that. And so now I really don't want to play the game again. Because I don't want to have to do that one really, really awful part. If you play Xenoblade 1, you remember the amazing story and the great gameplay and not the post-game? What? What? What are you talking about? The post-game in Xenoblade 1 is great. Are you Okay. Also, there's a big difference be between putting the, uh, not fun thing in the 100% post-game. And this is the post-game. It still sucks. Having a set of things to do and having one of them be unfun is really lame. Did I get all the pieces? I did. But anyway, Xenoblade 1's post-game is great. I don't know what you're on about. We did one through six and then also ten <laughs> for some reason. Am I still missing one piece for this? Where, where is that? Anyways, the concept of we put in something not fun to make the rest of it seem more fun is stupid and asinine and shouldn't be in game design. Where did... Does that go there? Yeah. Yeah. Point is, is the bad stuff makes good stuff look better and more memorable? A hard disagree. If anything, the bad stuff is a stain on an otherwise perfect game. Or otherwise really good game. Like, uh, like Crash 4. The, the last two worlds of Crash 4 are straight trash, and I hate them. And it made me dislike that game. Well, maybe not dislike the game. It made me like the game a lot less. If that just hadn't been in the game, I would have liked the game a lot more. Something is wrong here. <laughs> Does this... Oh, there we go. I figured it out. There we go. Who, who is this? Is this Riku, but his hair looks very yellow? I guess it's, there's got to be Riku in the cloak, right? But his, his hair just looks weird. That's strange. Anyways, I hope you guys in chat who are saying, oh, put bad stuff in to make the good stuff seem better. I hope you guys never become game developers, because I don't want to play whatever games you make. There's no way it's Naminé in a cloak. Naminé doesn't wear a cloak. At no point in the entire franchise does she wear a cloak. Um, Where haven't I been? Hollow Bastion has to have one. Is there one in Timeless River? I know I have to get a puzzle piece from Timeless River either way. I know there's one in Twilight Town, and I'm pretty sure there's one in Hollow Bastion, but I want to do those two last. I bet the Twilight Town one is... Uh, Twilight Town one is Saix. Yeah, I want to do Saix, like, last or near last. <laughs> Is there a mushroom boy maybe over where we fought P? No. Over here where we fought P? Oh, yeah, here he is. Who are you? 11? This is Larxene. Keep attacking until the number counts down to zero. Uh-huh. Yeah, just, you know what? Show me what it is first. Oh, okay. It's, it's Marluxia. No, wait, this isn't, this isn't Larxene. This is Marluxia. Pfft. Larxene is 12. Marluxia is 11. I got them, I got them flipped in my head. My bad. I was about to say, like, why is Larxene's mushroom basically Marluxia? It's because this is Marluxia's mushroom. You foolish fool. Definitely, this isn't going to be near fast enough. Oh, dude. Oh, Fyraga. Okay, I've already figured out the strat. Fyraga is the way. Oh, they only give you 30 seconds? Okay. I get it. I get it. 
I understand. Let's go. Probably should have tried wisdom. No, I think final form is better for this than wisdom. I don't know. Burn, 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 baby, burn, baby, burn. I'm gonna run out of what should we call it here? Oh wow, this is even faster than Pyraga. Maybe I should have just done that in the first place. Yeah, Final Form does attacks really fast, doesn't it? Alright, well I did it in 22 seconds. I'm sure that wasn't fast enough. Nope. I'm thinking... Forget Pyraga, jump and attack. Uh, okay, well when the attacks start missing, it kind of falls apart. But as long as you're not missing attacks. I probably have to get under 15 seconds for this. Stop jumping all over the place, scumbag. Get, get down. Yep, this was worse. Maybe a combination? Like, as soon as... Okay, wait a minute. I got some ideas. I got some ideas. I got some ideas here. Okay. 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 I want to, like, transition from combos to Fyraga as is needed. Stop! Oh my goodness. Those were some really unlucky jumps for me that probably screwed me out of it. Oh, I still got under 20. Is that enough or do I need under 15? I think I need under 15. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Don't mind me. Uh, why do you do that instead of just going through the door, Chaos? To get all your drive gauge back. I'm pretty sure... As long as I don't need to do under 10 seconds, I'm pretty sure I got it. Within 19 seconds, so just under 20. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I had to go even faster than that. Don't mind me. I know what needs to be done. I also still have to find that other puzzle piece. It was probably back. I think it's over. It's back here above a tree or something, isn't it? Don't I have to jump for it. Yeah. I remember trying to get this one before and I didn't have enough high jump at the time. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I got 1980 earlier and that wasn't enough. I just realized. I was right at it. No, 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 no! Oh, dang it. 1940. I can't get sub... I can't get sub-19. <sighs> May as well try this without magic while I'm waiting for a magic to regen. I think having magic is going to be the way to go, though. Because when he, like, jumps away from my combos, it screws me up every time. Unless I can predict his jumps like I almost did there. But, yeah, see, if you, like, if you're missing an air combo, then you're, like, screwed. Yep. I think it's better when you have magic on hand. Please hit him. Thank you. All right, go back. What time does he need? 19 or below? No, I need I need below 19. I'm pretty certain, because otherwise I would already have it. Complete within 19 seconds. So, like, I got 1940. That wasn't good enough. Or maybe, maybe right on 19 would work. That's probably what you meant. That probably works, too. Please get down. Yeah. Dang it, that combo right there gets me stuck in the air and screws me every time. This is a failure. Very bad. I'm actually just going to revert and use drive recoveries because I keep getting so many. This would be easy as heck if this guy didn't jump. 
The jump is the only thing that screws it. I wonder if there's a better way to do it other than Final Form. Probably not. Final Form has, like, the fastest combos in the game. That was such a fast jump to jump. I'm kind of getting good at predicting when he's going to jump, though. A little bit. Just fire. Just fire. Oh, yes! 18.5. Let's go. Oh, man. All right. That was pretty good. I'm telling you, all of these mushrooms have been pretty enjoyable mini games, other than the number two. Number two is like the only one that sucked. <laughs> Alright, uh, I still have some puzzle pieces to get here, don't I? There might also... I, Timeless River and the castle might count as different, for all I know. Maybe there's another... Oh, we gotta drop by in Atlantica, too, for puzzle pieces. First try, indeed. There might be another... I doubt it, but there might be another one here in the castle. I don't think so, though. All right, I know for sure that one of the puzzle pieces is back in the, the factory where, like, the gummy ship is, or, like, the launch bay, whatever you want to call that. For sure there's one there, because I remember trying to jump to it, and I couldn't. There's one in Atlantica? Uh, what, the mushrooms? I don't think so. Oh, hello, there's the other one. I need that one, and then I need the one back here. I don't think there's a mushroom in Atlantica. I don't know what they would have me do in Atlantica. That'd be really weird, but there might be. We'll find them bit by bit. I'll ask chat if I can't find any. Or someone in chat can just go ahead and tell me, which is what someone just did, so now I know anyways. Alright, we need puzzle pieces from over here. Puzzle piece? There are three puzzle pieces in Atlantica. Uh, I know there's one over in the... Um, there's one over here in the throne room. Are there two in the throne room? Oh yeah, there are two in the throne room. I thought there'd be two in the first area. I know I got the first one in the first area. Gimme, gimme. Both frontier pieces. So let's actually take a minute to look at these bad boys. Number 11 is this. Ooh, we got seven. Seven is in Twilight Town. Eight, nine... All right, we have five left, and someone in chat already told me there are three in Twilight Town and two in Radiant Garden, so that means that's where all the remaining ones are. So that's where we gotta go next. I probably would have gone to Radiant Garden next anyways. Because I don't think there are any other places. Oh, hey, this one's done. Nice. Oh, a Manifest Illusion! So that is, there is a way you can get it other than doing uh, a boss fight, a data fight. There's one right there. That makes things easier. Rare document. The ancient synthesis recipe for a rare item. Interesting. Alright, so Heart, Awakening, Duality are all done, as is Frontier. All that's left is two more for Daylight, and then all of the ones for Sunset. Alright, very nice, very nice. What's this new item? Probably the Manifest Illusion. If I had to guess. Yeah. Also this rare document, that makes sense. All right, sick. Good little stop by there. How are we doing? Let me let me check actually. What worlds still have puzzle pieces? Obviously Twilight Town and Radiant Garden. There's one in Hundred Acre Wood. We'll get when we go to Radiant Garden. One in Spa Space Paranoids. Again, we have to go to Radiant Garden. All right. All right. So all that's left to go to is Twilight Town and Radiant Garden then. Back to the world map. How long have we been streaming? Two and a half hours? Still kind of deciding if I want to do the replica fights today or not. Because I'm thinking, I don't think, we still have five more mushrooms to do. I don't think, and we have to go through the Cavern of Remembrance, which isn't long, but takes a little bit, and gets to level 99 in the process. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Sephiroth, the Data 13, and the Lingering Will all today. But I also don't know if all of those fights will be worth their own stream. I, pro the data fights will probably take me at least, like, five hours on their own, don't you think? Because I don't remember how to fight any of them. 
Where am I going? Twilight Town. Twilight Town first in Radiant Garden. Where? Where's the exit? There it is. Okay. I know where Saix's is. 